June 11th, 2023, and this is for the week of June 11th to the 8th, 18th, we have in Warframe some exciting things coming up. So as you guys can see right here, they talked about this last uh, dev stream that Kalervo should be coming with the Echoes of Daviri quest, which is supposed to be sometime coming in June, it says. And based off of how long Hildren has been out and how long they typically bring new Prime frames out, we should also be expecting Wisp Prime on average by the 15th. But they did say they're not going to bring Wisp out until they bring Lervo out, which makes me wonder uh, how they're going to do that. Are they going to bring Wisp out within the same week? Is that week going to be this week? Because that would mean that the Calervo frame and Seven Seven Crimes of Calervo and the Daviri update with the new decrees and stuff should be coming out this week, possibly? We don't know. They didn't actually give us a release date because they're crazy little rabbits like that. They like doing that. So possibly, if not this week, then maybe next week, we're going to wind up getting the uh, Calervo frame and the new, uh, Daviri, the new Daviri quest line coming out. So that's exciting. We also have a Prime Gaming Iridos collection. Right now, the Mantis Landing Craft is available for any of you that have an Amazon Prime. Uh, you can basically redeem this on Twitch, the Mantis Landing Craft, and uh, it looks kind of cool. It's pretty nice. It's uh, basically a skin for the Landing Craft. We also have Pride 2023, which I'll show you right now. These items are colorful, and uh, I like them. I think they're nice. It's a free color palette, which basically is it's one credit. That's free. Um, and oh, here it is. Free with Prime Gaming. This is the Mantis ship. You can see it right here. So it looks pretty cool. The design, it's nice. But we also have a Pride display, which you guys can get as many of these as you want. They're all one credit each. So I got like 500 and thought maybe I'll like have wallpaper or something. And then we have Pride Glyph right here, 2023. That looks pretty good. So those are the Pride items that they were talking about. One last thing to note as I go over here to Chipper and see what he's got going on today. We have an event coming up soon. This event has been happening for years now, so I kind of expect it to come back this year as well. It's personally not an event that I really enjoy doing, but a lot of people really do enjoy doing it, and that is the... Dog Days event, and I don't know if that's coming out late this month or if that's coming out in July, but either way, that's around the corner. There's cool cosmetics that you guys can get for doing that, and uh, you get to run around and splash each other with squirt guns and shoot water at people. Isn't that exciting? So let's see what Call's got this week. If you've never missed a Call mission, we have Deathless, Blow Up Good, Break Armor Veils, Call Kill Quick, Call Sneak Good, and Smash Pazool Axums, and this is going to be at the Veil Factory this week. Chipper has an Azor Shard, an Azor Archon Shard, which means that the Archon this week probably also has an Azor, Azor Archon Shard. Yes, he do. So we also, for the Archon this week, have Sabotage, Excavation, and then a Showdown, which is a breath of fresh air that there is not a defense. Reminder for your weekly Maru Ayatan Treasure Hunt. The Steel Path missions for today are Survival Defense, Crossfire Mobile Defense, and Spy. The current invasion missions that we have up, Cytron Vandal Blueprint versus a Carrick Wraith Barrel, a Twin Vipers Wraith Link versus a Snipetron Vandal Receiver, and then nothing else really noteworthy. We also have, for the sortie today, was a defense, a rescue, and a hijack. As far as Maru this week, we are looking at Maru, Nora this week for Nightwave, we're looking at... Eximus Executioner, so 100 Eximuses. These are kind of easier done on sorties because a lot of times sorties are loaded with Eximuses, but uh, see either way, just a food for thought. Complete an Archon Hunt, easy peasy. All right, complete four different bounties in the Zaramon. Plunder one of Alidvi's secret laboratories on Jupiter. Complete three capture missions. Complete nine invasion missions of any type. Complete three Void Armageddon missions. And just deploy a Glyph while in mission. Nice. So as far as her store goes this week, we have the usual suspects and the mods that she's got this week. There's a lot, a lot of mods here. We have Infested Impotence, Corrosive Projection, Steel Charge, Deadeye, Sniper Scavenger, and Holster Amp. And as you can see by the, the amounts, the quantity of these that I have, which ones you can collect because they'll sell a lot easier. I'd actually also recommend getting some Steel Charge. I'm pretty sure I had over 20 of those, which means that's been moving in trade chat. So, Corrosive Rejection, Steel Charge, those are the two most important ones. And then Dead Eyes, I don't really think I sell those much. Um, but uh, they, you'll, you'll see it once in a while. And as far as the mods that we have, even wow, she's got even more mods. Usually she got three. We have Power of Three for Avara. 
Directed Convergence for the Supra. Shrapnel Rounds for the Marilock. Double Tap for the Latron. Ambush Optics for the Rubico. And Rumbled for Atlas. And for Daviri, do we have it fixed this week? Oh my lord, yes we do. We have the Bratton and Karnan Genesis, the Lato, Skana, Paris, and Kunai this week. And I made a useful little tool here that uh, you guys have been able to get for a while, but uh, I'll just show you anyway. So these are my freebies that are on my Patreon. If you go to the Patreon and go to the uh, About Me section, you guys can grab a whole bunch of sheets that I have been using. These are really useful, especially if you're trying to keep track of things. But I have right here the list of Incarnan adapter, the weapon adapter list, and this is all the rotations, week one, two, three, four. All the way to six and then it repeats back to the beginning so i have this you can you guys can just grab this for free um and then you'll have it you can just check off whatever you get uh, incarnates for and i did this because i wanted to get an incarnate for every single thing that you can put an incarnate on that means the bratton four times that means the paris three times like i know it's ridiculous but whatever i do this for a living so the list is designed so that you don't get stuck only being able to towards the end of you having everything collected like, let's say I got all these, all these, all these, and all I had left was just Brattons. You could only get one Incarnate per weapon per rotation. So I'd only be able, even though I'd need three, I'd only be able to get one. So I made this list to kind of help myself and everybody else figure out, like, if you were collecting all of them, what order should you get them in? This kind of helps you figure it out. And for the normal circuit this week, we have Mesa, Chroma, and Atlas. Crethus this week as the usual uh, that she normally has. But then we also have a shotgun ribbon mod, cool. We have a form of blueprint for 10 pathos clamps. We have an Arokan reactor blueprint for 20 pathos clamps. We have a long shot, a longbow sharp shot arcane right here for 20 pathos clamps. We are definitely gonna grab that. Yalta this week has, let's see, trade void plumes for pinions. That's one thing you guys wanna do. This because I've noticed that sometimes the void plume pinions are costing, so I started collecting these too. And we also want to check her for what she's got, which every week 35,000 Kuva for five void plume pinions. Easy peasy. That's probably one of my favorite costs. It's such an easy amount to acquire. Teshin this week and Steel Path Honors has a rifle ribbon mod, which is good. Good chance we can get something nice out of this. All right, butt plug, what you got today? Ergo Glass, he's got a Tenant Ferox, 25% Magnetic. He's got a Grigori, 33% Toxin. Livia is 25% Impact. Exec is 39% Impact. And Agendus is 39% Cold. I would say skip on these right now and hope that he gets something that's like 40 or 45 or higher. Those would be better. Paladino this week in Iron Wake has a reminder to get those two Riven mods. So we're going to purchase this. So we got a Zaw Riven mod. He'd rather not. We also have a Melee Riven mod. That's cool. We got a 35,000 Kuva. Very useful. We have our 150,000 credits. And last but not least, we're checking out Invigorations for the week. These are going to be different for everybody, but this is your reminder to take a look at them. Maybe you got something that you use all the time. Today we have Mirage. 100% ability duration plus 75% reload speed. Oberon with 250% secondary damage and 75% parkour velocity. And Zaku with 100% ability range and plus 75% sprint speed. Let's go, fam! All right, everybody cross your fingers that Wisp and Calervo and the new update all happens this week because it is about time that this stuff drop. I know everybody want a Wisp Prime. I do, I do as well. But thank you for watching. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I will see you in the next one.